YouTube, welcome back. So, you just got your Oculus Quest 2 and you want to play a set of cars in VR. You're all set up, you got the steering wheel, you got the cable, everything's set up and ready to go. Let's show you how to do it. So, before we do anything else, we need to go to Logitech G Hub to make sure our wheel is working. So, for this, we're going to be using Logitech G923. And as you can see within the software, the wheel's turning from left to right, and also the pedals are all working. And then, before we go any further, we're going to turn off this setting here because the set of cars already has false feedback settings in it. If you're having any issues setting up your steering wheel, we do have other videos on the channel where we set up the steering wheel for Euro Truck and BMG Drive. So if you do want to check them out, go down and look in the channel and you'll see them there. So as some of you may know, there is two ways to open a set of Corsa to play the game. You have the initial the set of Corsa launcher, but if you play mods like Shitoko Revival Project, you may have downloaded Content Manager. All I will say is the only difference between this is opening the game and getting the game started. But once you're in the game, it does it all for you anyway. So for this one, we're going to use the content manager version. If you want to see the way to use the other way, we can do another video. So the first thing we're going to do is open up the content manager and get the game started. So here we are in content manager. What we're going to go do is going to go hit settings and look at the control settings that we've got. Now, as you can see, mine are already set up. However, if you want to check, you can go through each and every single one of these and make sure that they work. So as you see, I've clicked on the steering here saying wait for input. We're going to turn right. And there you go, it says you've already got a setting there. Same again with the rest of them, hit throttle, click the throttle pedal, hit the brake pedal, hit the clutch, and then you can set up your gears with that as well. And the way to set up your gears is to hit into buttons, and then you can go through your H shifter settings here, and then go through the gear stick as you would in every other setup. So now that we're happy that the settings are working, we'll go do a quick test drive and just make it work, make sure it works without the VR headset. So we're in, you can see we've got left to right steering, we've got accelerator, presumably we've got brakes as well. We'll put it into first and our controller now works. So now that we're happy that the game works, the controller works, now it's the time to set up the VR side of things. And in three, two, one, we look a little bit silly with our Oculus Quest headset on. Now, unfortunately, I can't show you the steps of how to set up Steam VR and how to get it to work. Now, all you need to do is make sure your Oculus is plugged into your PC. Your Oculus will then prompt you if you want to connect via connection like that. You click allow on this, then it'll prompt you again to do Oculus Link. You enable the Oculus Link, and then providing you that you have the Steam VR app downloaded, you open up that through the headset, which will then will give you a screen a little bit like this. So now that we're in Steam VR, as you can see, here's my hand here. You want to go into your recent apps and hit a set of Corsa and hit launch. Now, what you'll see is it's loaded up the game. However, we want to use Content Manager. So what we're going to do is we're going to quit out of this and our Oculus is still showing that we're in a set of Corsa. And then we're going to hit go. And then we're going to put our headset on and hopefully we'll be in the race in a minute. Now, as you can see, we are inside of the car we was in earlier. Now for this, you don't need the Oculus controller. All you have to do is use your mouse, click on the steering wheel, and there you have it. You're good to race. So let's um, let's test for a spin. Now, as you can see, this is honestly the most immersive thing I've ever played. Like look around the car, look like to the side of you and everything. It's such a cool experience. First of all, I'll apologize for my hair in that it was a little bit all over the place due to the headset. And also, don't worry if you if you didn't hear audio within that. For some reason, I couldn't get the settings quite right. However, because I'm recording, that's going to happen. But once you're in the game, you'll hear all the noises as it were. If not, it might be something to go to your Oculus settings. Just go into the settings on your Oculus, change it to your headset, or on your PC, just change it to your appropriate headset. And the process is still the same if you just want to use the regular launcher. As you saw, the game loaded up itself. And then all you have to do there is just go through the normal motions to play the game. And we can quickly show you that now. So the exact same process, obviously you can see here we're in the normal set of cars of launcher. We want to click on start here. And we're going to start loading the race up. Now we're going to double check in our, in our um, Oculus headset that we can still see the set of cars symbol. Now exact same process again, we use the mouse, hit drive, check the wheel, hit the microphone first and then we have sound in this one and away we go let's go for a quick blast in the ferrari i do feel very short in this however i'm not sure how to change that saying however i do feel like i'm a little bit to the left as well but i'm not sure how to change all those settings but here we go we go down the chitoko highway in the ferrari f40 use the mirrors we can see everything Honestly, the most immersive experience I've ever come across in a game. And that's it. It's as simple as that to play a set of Corsa in VR. A couple of troubleshooting tips I can give to you are if it looks like you're out of place in the seat, try maybe resetting the Guardian within the Oculus settings. If it appears that you're stuck within the headset and can't get into the game, just try reset everything and go through it again. You should be fine. 
Also, with the Logitech wheel as well, if you're not sure on how to set that up, there are other videos on the channel as well you can watch. But checking for updates, restarting things usually fixes everything. Also, if you are new here and like what you see, please do like and subscribe, leave a comment as well. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. We'll see you again in the next one.